Tim, we can also do this at home. Yeah. Yeah, who's a McGoodles is a real person now. Who the McGoodles is a real person? Trouble did for the Griffiths is wrap their fist in the net with a good As time went on, the way this came both down with the top of them, they started curling. It's like when we were doing the burns, we covered our skin in blue. So you get all the get all the coloring in and then you put your hair Breathe in. Boundaries don't exist, they exist in here. What you have are walls meant to be challenged. his sculpture, and this is reality, not his marble. Master, please, how can I prove to others that I am wise? Talk less. But, but Master, how will I actually gain wisdom? Watch. Listen. What does this humility have to do with wisdom? Without humility, there can be no wisdom.
software is becomes oh, useful yeah. again. Oh, what? Again, it's video. Totally. The audio editing on the video is like my best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's a lot more imagination. Is it a safe chair to sit in? I would not. No. I don't know. Hugh, grab the blue one from the front. What do you mean? You're going to go interview with Naomi? Now. These interviews are going to be asking essentially three questions, right? Answer me. Because on the men's I didn't fight anyone. You want me to? I have my own paper. I was just running around <laughs> pretending that anybody there actually wanted to. Do you want this one? No. So it's a notebox. Question three. Uh, <laughs> what? First question is a, a general review. How did you like the event? Second question is how did your character change during the event? And the third question is how, if uh, you did, how did you change during the event? Wow. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. You want a boat? You want a boat. Yeah. I'll give you a boat. A boat made out of a tree to move. You, you get a little boat. Either, 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 either as much damage as possible. No, no, no. Something I get for no reason. That was fun. It was a great interview. I like, I like, I like questions that make me like. Reconsider my existence. That's why I love philosophy. Duncan, yeah. what items you want? I, I love doing those interviews. Uh, those are some of my favorite experiences. I don't know if I, heard, I didn't hear the rules around that. Did you uh, tell him that you wanted for loot? Uh, yeah. Would you like? Hopefully it wasn't too absurd. Um, indestructible for Lucas Tears armor set for level 20 character. This is abandoned ship. Yeah, it'll fall over this way by the leaning. Wait, what? I was leaning away from it when I, after I... I would not pick it up that way. Bruh. Yeah. He was joking. He didn't this literally guy, be picking up like... Sure so use that super cut of and you won't be said, right in the middle of the smoke plane. Bruh. 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 Has anyone not said bra this event? Bruh. Okay, so it's just Eli. 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 And Tess. And Tess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have. Me. Uh, Miles. Yeah, right. That's not true. Zoop and what did you say? Me? Yeah. Yeah, and then rock. Rock. Sure. Rock. Yeah. Rock. 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 I don't know. It's not about. Oh, it was zoop. Oh, there you yeah. go. No. <laughs> no, I liked running the private mods. That was probably my favorite part of camp. This onesie. Why? Because I'm cute in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how heavy it is. Very. <laughs> like, like, if there was a number to it, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Do you think you. Did you. Did you think you were going to be able to move it? No. How did you get yourself to move it? But I said, because I decided, I know I'm not going to move it, I'm going to try anyway, and then it just started moving. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Magic. I mean, I, I was in a robe that was way larger than I should have been in, and I was just sitting on a river giving sage advice as a pile of laundry, and it was really fun. That was, that was... Very, that was incredibly immersive. We did have meow. Oh, damn. <laughs> but, uh, a well, fair party event was probably late night sitting around the fires chatting with people. And I got to be the God of War, which is always fun for me. Riding in the back of the death van with like <laughs> seven other of you guys. Yes, that, that, that is in fact correct. My private mod. I think my personal mod was really, really cool. Obadiah and Jebediah. and Jebediah. <laughs> Myra was there, and we I, uh, we're gonna get out, and I can do something about this, and hang on, m this might actually work. And it was just, it was just gorgeous. And my favorite part was the beginning of my private mod, where I basically just walked in to the, uh, along the river for a long time. Poor so bro. favorite movement yeah. was definitely fighting Talmaeus. I was actually like emotionally into that. Um, like I was confused and then like a bit scared. First of all, steam bath. Second of all, crushing Jacob Deck's dreams. Third of all, <laughs> Duncan moved a tree, bro. Because I told him to. <laughs> I think my favorite part was the day mod with the ministry where I faked my own death. <laughs> <laughs> I got light. I got light by the other two. Um, well, one taking a flying leap off the platform on Hugh. 
<laughs> dominate, <laughs> yelling in his Don't face, die. telling him to kill his friends. That was fun. And then also, the pizza parlor shenanigans were super fun. Yeah. And pizza, which is always like plus 15 bonus points. I cried for the first time in character. Yeah, what was that like? <laughs> Fucking weird, because the the chemicals go through your brain, and I'm not crying out of character. Hmm. Like I'm fine out of character, but in character, I'm fucking baller. Hmm. It's it was cool to sort of carry that on till the end. I got I got to really start that one up and really like build it up for Jacob and until Jen got to take the wheel and uh, ruin his hopes and dreams. Um, <laughs> that was cool. Um, and I think definitely getting to fight Gareth, uh, all out, I think that was, that was really fun. Uh. <laughs> Seeing the things that we'd written that required a lot of work and toil come to life yeah. for people, and seeing the parallels between what their character was looking for and maybe what they were looking for outside of their character mm -hmm. was really beautiful. Yeah. As much fun as that was, uh, hanging out under the tarp with my friends has yeah. got to be the best part. Uh, probably like hanging out with people under the tarp. I I really enjoyed my personal mod, but I think even more than that was just hanging out with my friends in game because that's not something I get to do often. I kept going. I liked it a lot. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sir. No, it wasn't our plan. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I, I really enjoyed the, the private mods that ran on Tuesday or sorry Wednesday and Thursday nights, um, especially my private mod because it, it's, it's, it feels more personal to have like, an event or a, a mod that's tailored to what your experiences are, what your, um, your character wants to do with his or her life. It's very specifically tailored to be this deeply personal experience where we take everything that you've learned over however long a character's been a character and to create an experience specifically tailored for that and that's super cool. So it's it's just really good to have a private experience that you yourself can share. I feel like especially today it's it's kinda hard to have those in regular life without a lot of guidance and this, this is the right setting, the perfect kind of open, natural experience that you can have that sort of I want to say uh, relaxedness of the event because most events are super heavy, like get down to business, really gritty, whereas this is much more relaxed and calm and open. And it gives you more time to actually appreciate, like, your surroundings or things like that. And appreciate the roleplay and appreciate, like, the world that you're supposed to be in. Um, I'd say that it's probably about giving you as a person, um, a chance to experience something that you haven't experienced before, specifically tailored to suit your personal needs, um, and to experience this awesome scenery and place that we're at, which is something that is a really cool experience I think everyone should have a chance to do. This is my first time on site. Uh, I've never done this before, and it was really something special because of getting to know, learn a new site while the while you get a certain period of time where the staff focuses on you and it's really their top priority it's it's an event that can help you further your characters further yourselves and um it can provide the community with some insight about it. and it's really something else because at other events where uh there's a PC parties of upwards of 30 people, so especially at Yield or other events, it's 
it's not really possible. So it's nice to have a smaller party where you can really get to know everybody. A lot less focused on mechanics and hard rules and more focused on just having fun with what you're given and the roleplay and uh, getting to know your friends and companions. So it's really it's a difficult question. Um, open, personal, and uh, relaxed. Personal. Um, powerful and magical. <laughs>